Hi, I'm Ray and this is Gardening Online. Today, 1st of September and it's a grey old day out there. It's quite chilly. The old uh, mornings are taking a long time to brighten up now. We certainly haven't had much, much sun at all. But anyway, we're in the greenhouse and we've got some seeds. And I'm going to show you what we can still plant in September. So I've got quite a few seeds and there's still a few bits that we can do. So I'm just going to sort a few out and I'll let you know what we can do. So the first we have on our list is salad leaves and this is Mizuma and this is good for stir fries and mixed salads and this can be done all year round. The next we've got is Rocket and for baby leaves these do not need to be thinned, these can be sown in September. We've also got salad leaves. And this is oriental mix and this is a combination of pak choy, mustard, mustard red lion, tatsoi and it's a unique oriental mix. The next one we've got is Radicino. This can be sown from April right through to September and the full heads can be dressed in oil, lightly grilled and served with cheese. And the other one we've got is salad leaves. And this is a quick 40 day crop and is ideal for containers on the patio. And we've got some spring onions and these are pretty standard white Lisbon. These can be sown from March right through to September and we've got some performer and these can be sown from October right through to February and that's under a glass or indoors. So we're going to plant some performer in the greenhouse today. So we're planting the white Lisbon and we're going to use this flower pot. So I'm just filling up this pot with compost. about an inch from the top and we've got our seeds and then we're just sprinkling them around the top Like so, and then we're just going to recover. Pop. And we're going to keep this moist, and then we can watch out for the onions to grow. And this is all year round lettuce. This can be sown in September and October. It's a versatile lettuce for sowing all year round. And then talking about all year round, we've got a standard cauliflower. And this is cauliflower all the year round. This can be sown February, March, April, May, and also September and October. So uh, that can be done too. We've also got some leeks. And this is mussel bra leek, but some leeks we can still do in the September. And we can put these in a big deep tray, big deep flower pot, and it gives it lots of space for the leaves, for the roots. 
why not try some carrots in a bucket, leave them outside until they frost, maybe take them inside in a, in a greenhouse or in a polytunnel. It's worth a go, a bit of compost in a bucket or in a container and have a go. These are Chantony red core and these are lovely, just whole as they are, baked in the oven. Absolutely lovely, one of my favourite carrots to grow. We can also do onions and this is the our onion Shenzhou yellow, a heavy yielding variety bred for autumn sowing, semi-globe shaped bulbs with golden skin, white inner flesh. Well I'm going to do these in the trays. These are the Charles Darwin trays and they're absolutely marvellous. The big holes at the back where you can stick your finger through and they just pop out. The onions need quite a deep tray, two inches preferably, and they'll get their roots growing. So that's my job today, to get some onions going. We can also do some herbs. Some of the herbs we've got is coriander. Coriander can be sown all year round. And the herb, basil. And this is a classic Italian, traditional Mediterranean companion for tomato dishes. Useful with chicken and essential ingredients in pesto sauce. And also coriander. Coriander crops in six weeks. And this can be sown all year round too. So we've got a few herbs that we can grow to. We've also got the standard radish. So September is probably the one of the last months we can do radish. And this is cherry bell. And uh, I like the old round globes on the old cherry bell. And it's extremely quick and easy to grow. So that's a great one for that. A good one we can do with the kids is cress and it's easy to grow, ideal fun for the children. And it'd be interesting to grow cress in the CD case that I made a video on. That'd be quite interesting and is ideal for growing on the windowsill. So we can also do towards the end of the month, towards the end of September, October, we can do our broad beans and the broad beans we've got here is Acra Dulce Claudia. These can be done in cell tray and then they can be moved outside in the, uh, in the spring. So they require a warm, well cultivated, water retaining soil, planted sheltered area to protect the crushes from the late frost. Also, so we can't forget the flowers and the first flowers we can sow in September and October is corn flowers. These can be sown August, September, October and they will be flowering the following year. And these are ideal for cut flowers or just filling up some spaces in the borders. The next one we got is calendula and I've got a video how to collect the glandular seeds but these are a great display can be sown now for early spring but remember to deadhead the flowers and it prolongs the growing of the flowers. We can also do larkspur and these can be sown directly outdoors but they do have to be protected with a cloche during the cold weather and poppies. Poppies can now be sown September or in October and I really wanted some red poppies. The poppies we swayed from the London allotment were the purple ones and they were they were not I was not keen at all and I've got uh, some now with some red poppies and these can be sown in the autumn and they'll be flowering for next year in the garden. 
and I'm really looking forward to that. And finally, we've got some sweet peas. So towards the end of September, October, we can sell sweet peas and these will be flowering the following year. And we will do the sweet peas in the root runners, which sends the roots down in straight lines. And they will provide a nice fragrant smell for next year. And these can be kept in the cold frame. And we look forward to getting some lovely flowers next year. So don't forget the flowers. There's still a few of those we can do too. So that's just a selection of what we can sow in the vegetable garden during September. So let me know what you're growing. Are you growing anything else other than we mentioned? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for now. Cheers.